the cold? I don't do good in the cold. I know. Here, this is a chamber. You can see, look, our breath already. That's how cold it is. Zero degrees. So we'll get into our sleeping bag, and I'm not sure we're going to be smiling when we're in it. When well, I'm going to be out here, right, when you go in on the sleeping bag? I don't know. We'll have to find out. I don't know who, if you're going in or Rochambeau. not. Rochambeau. All right, here we go. Ready? Yep. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. Great. <laughs> Okay, Stephanie, you're just going to take some quick baseline vitals before you get into the cold chamber. And why exactly are you doing this? Just want to make sure that your baseline vitals, see what they start out at. Okay. And then to see what they are, if there's any effects when you get out of the cold chamber. Okay. And your pulse rate is 97. Your pulse is a little high right now. Well, I'm a little nervous a little right nervous. now. I would imagine that's, that's why my standard. pulse is high. Stephanie right now is in a bag rated at 40 degrees Fahrenheit. The temperature she's experiencing is zero degrees Fahrenheit. So she's going to start getting a lot colder really quick right now. Now remember, you're shivering, right? So that's your body trying to generate the heat. You start moving your feet around, that's just all automatic reactions uh, that your body's trying to heat itself up. Hey, I want real quick, I want to get you thermal sensation scale. It's a one through nine scale starting at very cold and ending in very hot. Five's like a neutral where you don't feel hot, you don't feel cold, you're just hanging out. Okay, then I'm definitely a little bit colder than that. I'll go with like a four. Yeah, it'd be a slightly cool. Stephanie's having a lot of heat loss. See all the white, all the heat just starting to emanate from her face and uh, it's getting colder. Really, my ears and Basically, you're getting more heat loss yeah. uh, so, uh, that's on this temperature scale here. You look like you're getting a little colder in your stuff. How do you feel? How long have we been in here? Uh, you're at 10 minutes. 10 minutes. My knees are jumping a little bit at this point. Like, my kneecaps, you know, when you get cold and they kind of jump a little. I'm just shivering, I think, all over. Okay, Stephanie, so it's obvious that your body is doing what it's supposed to be doing right now. You're shivering. It's, it's very noticeable. The back's shaking like crazy. <laughs> but, uh, your core temperature is still staying really good. Now go ahead and get Jesus to give us one more report on your temperature and everything. You went down a degree. You're at 99 now. Okay, so Stephanie's core temperature just went down to 99. I was holding steady at 100. It is now at 99. It's obvious that she is shaking. She, it's obvious that she is in some discomfort. And uh, actually, I'd like to get her out now if we could. Coffee coming in. Even though Stephanie's core temperature is fine, her extremities and face are starting to be affected by the dangerously low temperatures. When hypothermia sets in, it can do damage quickly. Stephanie's test is over. Yeah. 
Daryl's saying, um, like my bag, you can see the heat leaking out of the seams. Yours, you can't even see the bag because it is so well made. All right, so Chuck is wondering how you're feeling for the thermal sensation scale. A one is very cold, nine is very hot. Where would you be at? Uh, in between warm and hot. Right now, I'm starting to cool off a little because I have the bed open a lot. I'm going to zip it up a little, and then I'll get really warm again. Stephanie's bag was rated for warmer temperatures and wasn't designed to handle the zero degrees environment. Newton's bag was designed to handle 40 degrees below zero. His only complaint is that he's too hot. So, whose bag is better? Here, I'll help you up. You got up? All right, well, I would jump out of the bag, but I'm wearing proper bag attire. <laughs> and it might be improper for TV. That's all right. We'll just keep you in it. You're like, uh, you know, you were in a cocoon, basically. Oh, it was great. Actually, I feel better now than before I went in. Do you really? Yeah, I feel feeling warm. Oh, my gosh. You are warm. It's kind of cold in here. I feel good. Yeah, I, I can check his vitals now, but really, there's really no need to. He's obviously still warm. His core temperature didn't change at all. His color stayed with him. Um, he was able to move his extremities around really well. So uh, it's a major difference from what you went through. Both bags are wrong for the environment they were tested in. While Stephanie would have been in trouble faster, Newton experienced enough overheating that he had to open his bag or risk sweating and breaking the number one rule of cold weather survival. The lesson is simple. Know your environment and bring the gear rated for the challenge you'll be facing.